Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Triple Forte Matt here. And before we get into today's video, I just wanted to let you all know that there's not going to be any game sound in this video. Neither is there going to be game sound in my next video, and there's a good reason for that. So yesterday when I recorded the videos, I made one video, well I made two videos actually back to back for two hours straight. And uh, the weird thing that happened was Bandicam didn't record the game sound. Thankfully it saved my audio, but it didn't record game sound because I just switched TVs with my brother. He wanted to get back the TV that had Roku on it since he's in college and he gets a little bit bored in his dorm room. I told him that I don't use the Roku setting and he was like, cool, if I get you this TV, can we swap? And I was like, yeah, it'll be fine. Everything will work out. Ironically, this happens. Apparently, Bandicam didn't detect my new audio device, which is this TV. Since I don't have headphones, I just record gameplay and keep the TV up in the background. So you guys are going to be able to hear a little bit of the audio that's being picked up from the back of my microphone from the TV. But that's about it. I just wanted to let you all know that there's not going to be any game sound for two videos straight. And I'm sorry about that. If there was any way I could go back and salvage it, I would because I want to make sure these videos stay high quality and recently, or really just because of this problem, these next two videos aren't going to be my best. And uh, yeah, that's my little update. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video nevertheless. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the video. Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Triple Forge, I'm Matt here. And in today's video, we are back playing some more Resident Evil 7. Uh, previous video, we found the D-Series arm, and now we're actually facing Jack once again. I told you guys he was going to be back. I just knew he would regenerate, and he regenerated into something evil. Resident Evil. Anyways, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, breakthrough. Ethan is caught in Lucas's sadistic game, but he breaks through and takes back the D-Series head that Lucas took from Zoe. Now he has what's needed to make a serum, but he has to get it but he has to get to Mia and Zoe first. All right, so I thought about um, actually let the cutscene play through first. Oh my gosh. So, what I was trying to say was... I played a little bit of this before I actually... In my previous recording. And I wanted to try and show that to you guys in the last video. But it was going, the video was actually going on to be too long, so it was already at its 30 minute mark, and I figured most people would stop watching at that point. So I was just like, screw it, I'm going to keep the 30 minutes and just play from the start. So what I've learned is that we just need to take out his eyes, but the best way to do it is use the pistol, because the shotgun is for really close up engagements. Most of the, your fights with Jack is going to be from a distance. So we really just want to use this pistol and try and get as far away from him as possible. He's going to start breaking the... Oh gosh, I couldn't, I couldn't block, couldn't block, dang it. Okay, my screen's not getting white, so I think I should be fine if I don't use the... Um, Oh, he's going to come up here and try and tag me. Got to go, got to go. There we go. So it kind of like auto-aims a little bit towards the um, eyeballs. So you don't have to be too, too accurate. Oh, we got to move, got to move. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we're getting to that point where we are a little bit red on the screen. We should try and dang, I can't, I can't hit. Okay, let's just go down here. So hopefully he doesn't like drop down on us. He does that sometimes. 
Go! I'm scared because I know that he'll drop down on me. Oh, shoot, no ammo. Okay, let's try and get down. Go, 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 go. Uh, he's scared. Oh, dang it. Man, I couldn't decide if I wanted to use that health or not. Because you really kind of want to wait. Until you're glowing white. And I didn't see that. So I was just like, let me see how many hits I can take before I use the kit. Oh shoot, I didn't start the hour timer. I'm sorry guys. Give me a second. I got so involved in the video. I don't want to play this for too long. Pause the game real quick. Hit the timer. Glad I remembered that because I probably got like five minutes in so it really doesn't matter too much. The thing about this is we've already taken a hit. And we're already damaged. Might as well heal up now. We get an extra kit. From what we find up here. So it's totally okay. Then again I just gotta focus on shooting those eyes. Oh man. Alright just keep going. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. He's gonna start breaking the wood up here. So it's gonna be really hard. It's gonna get really hard. Trying to um, escape him. And his jumps. If he jumps on top of you from this. It gets really hard. It takes a really big chunk of your health away. We gotta manage the health. I wanted to try and be perfect with this, but it's a boss fight. I mean, you can't be perfect. So all you would have seen the first time would have would have been me just um, trying to run away because I really didn't have any health kits left and I was really low on health. But man, it's really hard to track them now. I don't I can't even, I'm like trying so hard to, ow. Ah, now I'm getting really deep in there, man. It's hard to find that balance right now. If I look crazy while I'm playing, it's because I'm trying to look up at you guys. To recognize that you're there so you guys know that I'm not just here playing the game for nobody but I'm also got I'm also trying to focus on the game as well so oh ow die do I have another health kit yes I do Thank you. We really don't want to waste these pistol shots. We don't have a lot. Handgun ammo. Yes, I will take it. It's actually easier if you stand under here to take him out. Because, I mean, he has eyes literally all over his body. So... You get a little bit more of an open view. So we're not doing too bad. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's really moving. He's really... Okay, let's go. No, 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 no. This is the opportune time. Don't do it yet. Because yeah, he was rolled over. I'm like, he's, he can't attack me. Yeah, I didn't like you from the start, and I don't think your family liked you. Maybe Lucas liked you before you tried to mutate him. Fathers are fathers that generally don't try and mutate their children are loved. So, you know, that that's a tip for you parents out there. Don't um mutate your chi your children in any way shape or form. <laughs> Joking, obviously. Nobody would do that. Nobody in their right mind, anyways. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier if you stand down here. Okay, he's gonna jump. He's gonna try and get me. He's gonna try and get me.
We got four shots left. Yes, yes, it's a lot easier. I think that's an eye right there. Got it. I can die. I can't die, but you can. Yes, we got handgun ammo. Thank the Lord. You're part of the family now. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, he's going to try and get me. Let's just stay under the water. Stay, stay under the water. Stay under the wood. No. Ah. Whoa. Give me that handgun ammo. Please don't jump on me. <gasps> He's going to try and jump on me. Ah, man. See, you can't tell when he's going to try and jump. Which is why it gets a little bit scary. Because that, that attack does take away a ton of your health. Can I just get him to jump in the water? Oh! Oh, he's not actually going to hit me. Look at that giant eye. Move, move, move. You wish you had a sense to, oh, good sense to lay down and die. I was trying to read the subtitles. Oh, man. Getting intense. Ah. Oh, lordy, lordy. Die. I think that eye's done. I'm glad they keep giving us handgun ammo. My strategy thus far has been improvised, so. I don't, I really want to avoid... I really want to avoid getting up close and personal with Jack. It never works out the right way. Make every shot count. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh no no no! He's above. He's above. He's above. He's above. Let's wait. Ugh! See how we just gotta keep dodging. Can we shoot at that? I don't think we shoot at that. He's got one more eye left, and it's really the hardest one. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, his, yeah he's not entirely destructible. Let's try and, um... Let me just go up here. Oh, God. G Jeez. Okay, glad we didn't have to... No, 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 no. Oh! We don't have another health kit. I used it already. Man. Um, that moment when you thought you won the battle? Okay, let me try and, um... Please, please be a health kit. Shotgun shells. Uh, that's not what I want right now. Psycho stimulants. Is that what that is? Move. Oh. Just no. Ah, ah. Oh God. The no. There's a hell kid in there. I think. Handgun ammo. What? Whoa! Then what is this? Shotgun to give me a health kit. Ah! No! You're joking. They wouldn't give me a health kit. You've got to be kidding me. At least give me three health kits. Oh, there it is. Yes, I got it. Yes, there we go. Oh no, we got it. Yeah, we're good. Ow. 
Is that a thing? I can't. I don't have another thing, do I? Yeah, I do. Oh! <laughs> Where is his eye? I can't find it. Okay, shotguns clearly do more damage close up. What are you doing? Yes. We did it. I think. I think we did it. Yes. That was actually really quick. Right. Uh -huh. You couldn't open up that door before? Oh. No! Oh, no. But I was supposed to use it to save Zoe and Mia. How can I guarantee that 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 Zoe hasn't already used the serum on herself? Never mind. When a video game tells you to do something, you ought to do it. Oh my gosh. All right. Well then. The boss fight was actually pretty fun. I can start it over again. It's it's okay. I took a little bit too long to decide. My fault completely. Come on. Guard, guard, guard. Yes, got him. Done, dude. Finally. And his head's blocking the ammo. Great. <laughs> Alright, now this is the time where we use the serum. No thinking about it. Yes. <laughs> I think each I think each serum actually has two uses to it. So that's probably why it actually didn't we actually didn't use one of them. Like one whole complete serum, you know what I'm trying to say? Oh shoot, I lied. I lied. Dang it. Oh no. Well, I came here to save Mia. Hey, I <sighs> No, I cannot. I've come too far to cure Zoe. Zoe Zoe as always has guided me through this, but she guided me through this to ultimately save my girlfriend, who I've gone through trials and tribulations. Oh Lord. Sorry guys, that's not the end of the video timer, a totally different thing. But she's guided me through this, and she was my main reason for coming here. I can't forget that. And I love how they're trying to like shift my gaze so that I can possibly save Zoe. But I'm saving Mia. No. I'm surprised he didn't try and kill us. So is that the end of the game? 
Mia, you gotta update me. I mean, like I felt like I did. I felt like I made the right choice, cause you didn't really have too much of a connection with Zoe. I mean, it's tough on our. I mean, it's been tough on our main character, like I was saying, so... Oh, she's remembering. She's remembering. Margaret. It's gotta be Margaret or... Margaret's dead, so it can't be Margaret. Jack's dead. Oh, shoot. All right. Okay. Wow. You better start running. Well, I guess this is where the finding Ethan part of the Let's Play comes in to play. Alright, um, yeah, because I was trying to avoid spoilers for this game, and I've managed to slide by all of them. Sorry, I just hit my mic there. Don't know if that's going to hit, run through the recording. But, um, I tried to slip past all of them, but I kept finding spoilers while trying to look at stuff that's related to Resident Evil. Not the game, but soundtracks, because the soundtrack on this game is just great. But, um, I mean, I guess what could I expect? I'm not being in denial, so I haven't watched any of the endings. But, uh, you know, I think that it's going to be a good game. I think that the ending's going to be good. I don't know what's, what's going to happen or anything like that. I don't know. I just, I just wanted to bring up the fact that I haven't really seen much of the game. And that's a good thing, because then this would just be a horrible let's play, because I would already know the endings. She's remembering different stuff that happened on this boat to her, possibly. So this is possibly also where we find the truth. We have um, 28 more minutes on the timer, so we're just going to continue playing. It's actually good that that Jack boss fight wasn't as hard as the Margaret one. For some reason, I thought the Jack one was definitely going to be harder. It really only took me two tries, but I had to do it the third time because I derped. And I didn't trust the game that was telling me to, to kill Jack. So he ripped my head off like Chris Walker, and now we're here. we got to do something with this hatch, apparently.
Okay. That's weird how, considering that the hatch already opened, why did she have to remember that for the hatch to open? Like, because we're in the present now, and she had to go back to the past to somehow unlock something that was already open. Continuity issues. I just wanted to see if there's any... Ah, yes, another antique coin. Man, I, I don't know if I've said this before in the, the Let's Play, but I derped on antique coins. I kept finding these things, and I kept thinking they were going to be useful. But that was until I figured out that I was running out of space. So I discarded the, the antique coins, and I realized really quickly that you can't recover the items you discard in this game. And then I discovered that you could buy more items in the trailer. It ticked me off so much. I was like, bruh, what do I do? I can't go back. So they haven't given us any weapons. She's inside me. She's inside everyone. I don't know if I finished my thought, and if I didn't, I'm sorry. They haven't given us any weapons yet, which is what I was trying to say. So, we probably won't run into a monster here. Oh, that was supposed to be a jump scare? That, that didn't scare me. <laughs> because of, like, the activation, I kept pressing F and it wasn't working. I kind of just expected something weird to take place. <sighs> We're moving things along. Trying to kind of look around and keep my eyes on antique coins. Because what I'm going to do if I play as Ethan again. Well, it actually doesn't matter. Was that her? All right. <clears throat> Kids can be creepy. This is why I don't ever plan on having some. I'm joking. <laughs> but, um... Oh, man. Ladder, right? Yes. I don't think there's anything you can explore, but there might be something. So let me just try and be careful here. One small thing that I miss out on. Oh. No. I get it. She's gonna blow the ship. Let me click this real quick. Use an item. Strange bottle. A strange bottle that you found in your pocket after waking up in the Baker estate. It's probably important. What do you. You can't use that here. Of course. What are you gonna use a bottle to activate a button for? Or how are you gonna use a bottle to activate a button? <gasps> Dude, this can't be. There, no, there's no weapons here. Maybe we have to avoid them. The optimal fuse. Okay, we'll use that to activate the door. Ah! Okay, come on, move. I want to see if we can find something in here. I don't think we can. Notes. Molded! Ah! Run! Run! Keep going, keep going. Run, just run, just run. The doors will open. All right. Oh, Lord. Um, I think there's only so far we can go. Come on, come on, come on. Safe zone. They can't go in here. 
<laughs> Coming in clutch. <laughs> All right, saving. <laughs> cool. Okay. Now what's here? The dead guy holding. Yes, the MPH dude. No. Could you have bought in this earlier in the game? I think so, but I don't know, man. Um. Now, let's just assume that Ethan's materials... Oh, they don't have a green box here, man. I was hoping. I was really hoping that they had a green box here. I only got two shots left. Let me use the optimal fuse here. Gotta make each shot count so we know that they are molded on the ship. Floor two. Uh, let's check this door out. Oh, it's locked from the other side. Okay. But uh, my theory about the game right now is that that girl um, wants to be in some type of family. Because she said she wanted to be a part of some type of family. And it makes common logical sense. But what type of family does she want to be a part of? A normal family? Or did she want to be a cra in a crazy family? Alright. Well then. Old videotape. That's covered in stuff that's a whack theory that I have not really a theory I'm just saying what another character said cuz I'm not the game theorist be kind please rewind that I will do my girl that I will do Oh, so is Evie the girl that we're... Machine gun ammo. Special Operators Division. This might actually tell me where it is, just in case I don't already know. Or it's not, in case the game's not going to guide me to where it is by default. Um, recent reports suggest that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she is at a high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch and keeps... And safe... I mean, for safekeeping... Until further notice, during transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as parental guardians for Evelyn at all times. So Evelyn is the kid. Evelyn is the kid. This makes sense now. Um, manage Evelyn's vitals with Genorm... What? Oh, Genorn Codex provided. If the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Ele of Ele <laughs> dispose of Evelyn. So kill Evelyn, basically. Alright. Oh, we're bad, man. We're bad. We're bad, man. We got, a, we got a machine gun, baby. Oh my gosh, we have a better blade. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's lit, baby. We got, we got better weapons, bro. And we got an AK-74U SMG. Let's go. Numbers displayed show the distance to the target. Supplements. I'm guessing we use supplements to make um, ammo for this gun. 
because we had to do that for the uh, flamethrower. No, not the gr not the flamethrower, the grenade launcher that I had. Do we have some sort of key card here? What does it take? Machine gun ammo, Evelyn tissue samples, survival knife for enthusiasts. It still looks usable. <laughs> The distance from the target is increasing, but we're probably going to need all this stuff anyways. So it's good that we're exploring the area. More supplements. 16 more minutes on our timer for the video. It's going to be locked from the other side too. No. Seven. Six. Better check the rest of this fort first. Okay. Well, I'm glad that they told me. I think we need some sort of key card. We are increasing distance by a lot. Thirty-one. What would I be checking the floor though for? Locked from the other side. <clears throat> Machine gun ammo. Oh, this here. I don't think we should be in here. So I think her, so her. Yeah. Alright, well, I think that was everything that we needed to find on this floor. Just the fact that she was vomiting and giving birth to what we like to call the molded. Um. Yeah, let's go on this side. I don't exactly know what was here. But I don't think you need anything else. Oh my gosh, are we going to try and, the molded usually die off, so we're not even going to attempt to fight. Can we just close the door please, thanks. The emergency exit is that way, thank you so very much, signs. Oh, ah, I don't want to kill it, but fine. Die. Oh, ow, ah, ah, these things are invincible, dude. What the fudge? They're still here. All right, I'll try and loop it around the room. If I can even do that. I mean, we have machine gun ammo. I don't want to waste you guys this time. There we go. Yeah, we are clearly running out of ammo fast. That's probably going to be a molded guy behind us. Whoa! 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 What the fudge? What the freaking freaking freaking... Oh my gosh. Alright, mate. Time for you to see your demise. I want to see if we can shoot him in the leg. Try and like stagger him off path. Let's keep moving forward. Probably going to be another molded that spawns in the general vicinity. But I didn't want to waste all my bullets trying to kill the thing. Whoa. Die! Oh my gosh, what the fudge? This doesn't make any sense. 
They're still after me. Run! Close the door. Okay. I think we got more ammo. Um, do we have health here? Combine. No, we don't have chem fluid. Dang it. Alright, let's just try and be careful here. We don't want to die. Run! Run! Run, run, run! Run! Oh, God! Okay, this is actually scary because I, I really don't want to kill them all, yet I don't want them killing me. <laughs> oh, keep running. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Close the doors behind you. The scary thing is, you know that more molds are going to be popping up and showing. Flamethrower. Alright, let's get far, far away from this. And let's shoot it. Cam fluid, yes. Alright, let's combine this. Craft health. Take health. Oh yeah, baby, it feels real good. Alright, so I'm guessing we can combine all the corrosive here. Oh, you can't combine to make items. You can only combine to make... So it's a strong acid that can dissolve certain metals. Alright. Well, that was useful. Thanks so much. Why do you keep corrosive in the luggage? Whoa, what are we doing? Is the door gonna open over here? Is it is it locked? Okay, maybe I'm just derping. I'm sorry if that's the case. Um, I'm looking around and I don't see like a, a solution to this problem. Okay, that's the only door I see. Um uh, maybe, yeah, that's, oh, corrosive, corrosive, I, I completely, wow, can we use it? Seems like we would have to use that here. The door's locked, though, I don't know what they want me to do about that. We got a valve here, can we turn it? Hmm. Well, we're a little stuck. And we only have eight minutes left on the timer. I kind of want to be stuck here for a while because I can't figure it out. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'm going to carry on recording right now to the next one so that I can keep up with the story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then remember to slap the like button down below and share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next Resident Evil 7 video. So thank you so, so much guys once again for checking it out. And see you in the next one. Matt out. Peace. <clears throat>